We're back in there. Crusader Kings free, continuing our excellent um uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> so good yeah, us. unmarried. This is our this is our new guy. So Bulbasaur is underway. Bulbasaur is dead. This is Brian McBulbasaur, which we can change his name. Yep, so <laughs> What are we up to? We have to Caterpie We're now? We Caterpie now. Okay, buddy, you're gonna be Caterpie, enjoy. Nope. <laughs> Caterpie. Caterpie. Okay, you're King, you're King Caterpie now. Um, we got a vassal mm -hmm. that wants, he really doesn't like us. Are we, are we swaying him yet? Yeah, we I are. We are were, swaying yeah. him. Okay, and we can air, marry up our ear. Mm -hmm. Who is Ivysaur? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find somebody good to marry him off. Holy shit! Your primary ear is your jester. <laughs> I don't even know how he is related to you. Maybe he's not. He's his ear. <laughs> he's gotta be related, right? No. He's got no children. You He's got say. two sisters. They would yeah. be ears before. Who is this guy? It's got Who are you and why are you this guy's ear? Okay, that's a dead end. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of kids. Not, not as many as we had. Um, yeah. Now you can see, like, okay, everyone gets married off by the time they're marrying it, actually. So you've yeah. got to organize these things fast. Uh, this one is 14 from the Isles. We got anyone in Scarlet? No. Primary ear is some... Okay, his brother. Has his mm. brother got any kids? No. What is wrong with these Scots? Okay, well, we'll get someone from the Isles in here. Yep. Range marriage. For Ivysaur. Excellent. There is an inheritable trait. Bleeder. Ooh. Maybe we don't want that. There. Not necrophiliac. Uh, hemophiliac. Hemophiliac. Thank you. It's like, no, Philippa, no. <laughs> Very much the wrong thing. Uh, these are all boys. Don't want them. That's a boy as well. These people not having enough ears, huh? Uh, what about the Norwegian king? Yep, he, he's got nothing. Um, Danish? Nope. Holy Roman Empire. Yes. Okay. Married. Unmarried. Okay. Alright. Won't accept. They are vastly superior to us. Okay. Yeah. I was kind of... Hmm. Can't even suggest that they want to get... Did they try and marry the Jester? No. Because he's a man. Um, Damn. And, and the Jester has like no one. Well, I don't want to inherit that fucking bleeder trait, that's for sure. We don't want to, to stick our lineage with that. It is carried on the, um... Oh, I think it's actually carried on the Ooh, lady. We could get this guy from Galatia. He's a Christian. Yeah. He's a Catholic. Cool. This won't work, damn it. Why not? Superior. Let's see. Uh, because apparently she's marrying down. Mm. Also, he doesn't like us. Also, his faith differs from ours, which is weird, because I thought he was Catholic. Yeah, but we're still isolationist. Are we still insular? Insular. I think, okay, our last guy did switch. Mm. But this one didn't. So the insularism's really biting us in the butt. So is there anyone in the, the top of the, the aisles that we can marry up to? What, you mean here? No, no, um, uh, we... Didn't have the whole of Ireland, did we? No. Okay. You mean like an yeah. island? Um. Let's see. We already allied with. We're not allied with anyone but Gwynedd. So you're right. We could get like Ulster or someone in on this. Yeah. Uh. Except we. Wait. Yeah. Except we can't. She's already married. How about over here? Betrothed. Unmarried. That's a boy. Uh. That's a girl, but she's four. How old is our son? 16. He probably we probably want him to be able to marry, start marrying earlier than that. Babies, yep. 
Um, these are also for... You oh, might yeah. just have to have a child bride. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see what the uh, what the old automatic thing is. Wait, what? It's why is it trying to get him to marry my half sister? Uh, let's uh, just go. Okay, cool. Don't you mean his? Uh... <laughs> so let's see. Who are these people? You're landed. No, you're unlanded. But you do have a claim somewhere. I don't know. But... Count Philippe. Uh, where's Count Philippe? He is, wow, he is king of this tiny little place in Spain. Jesus. Well, it would uh, get you a toehold on there. I guess so, yeah. Health is good. Let's see, how about this one? Good. Fimar. What's, what's your, what's your liege? Uh... Well, your dad is this guy. And he's oh, in the Holy Roman Empire. No, not quite well. I think Holy Roman Empire is slightly closer. And this one has good health. <laughs> oh wait, this one has even better health. Oh fuck it, that, I, don't, I don't think it needs to matter that much. We'll accept. <laughs> we'll send the proposal. We want to get the, the air train rolling on this. Yeah. You trust me, you do not want to wait too long. Oh yeah, no, I get it. You want them pumping out kids as soon as possible. So let's see, have we got... Okay, we got Alphone. Okay, we'll wait for Alphone to get better, and hopefully no one will create any factions against us. We do have a couple that can't join any factions, because they already previously did. <laughs> so that's nice. Actually, wait. Is it because they're... Okay, maybe because they're my friend. Is it my... Jesus Alright, it's the same event. Let's see, so we can get military engineer siege phase time. Hey, the enemy come to you, but I am impatient and arrogant, so I won't like that. We can get reckless. As usual, I think military engineer is yeah. just better. As we did with our previous. Yeah. Man, we only have one gold. Jesus. Where's our money? Uh, it should be coming in from the duchies. Do I need to, like, go to the duchies? Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, because I can see under Lumic it's generating 1.5 per mm -hmm. whatever. And a tone. Oh, okay, I can't click on them and they will give me what they're... Okay. What's our fig? How... Venusaur can marry. Okay. We don't have a lot of alliances, we probably want to marry Venusaur off to someone powerful. Yeah. As powerful as we can. So. Venusaur, yep. Let's marry you off. Well, let's see. Who had, like, male ears? We already lied with you. No. Uh, you got no oh. options. Could we marry her to the Jester? I, I don't think so. Let's find out. Yeah, he is unmarried. I guess we could, we could, we could try. No, they won't. Children born of marriage. We'll be of his lineage, but we already knew that. Yeah. It's a problem. Terrified Faith different, of you. Doesn't like. Terrified of you is plus 20. I know, I just, I can see that from here. Yeah. Okay, so we're not getting that. Mm. Not getting England. Not that that guy really rules England right now, but you know. Is he young? <laughs> this actually, you fuck. He is. He is unmarried. Um. But it won't let us. But it will let us marry her to his ear, except that they won't accept because they don't like us. And so is um. Hmm. Let's see. So let's try here. Yeah, we, we could probably marry off to, like, one of these sons. Will not accept. Not that one. Um, well, that's fine. He has more sons. That one's going to inherit, so maybe we go to this one. Will not accept. Damn it. Hmm. Insularism's really fucking us up. Can we, are we able to convert first? Um, we can't. Well, this guy's unmarried. I don't suppose. No. About France. 
France is too big. Okay, let's let's since I can't find anyone nearby who's like really good. Let's see. Uh, married to someone in Dublin. We probably want to take over Dublin soon enough. Yeah. Um, you are located in Oriel. Don't we have Oriel already? No, we have Ormond. All right. Um, maybe. Or we could just get some fucking Holy Roman Empire schmuck. I think that might be the better option. Up here. Well, actually, Aria, we're probably not taking Aria anytime soon. What if I do this? No, okay. Just, just, just checking. Yep, go check. Go just checking, check. you never know. Yeah. So we got some allies. Yay, gladly accept your marriage. Half-sister will be married to him. Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now we just wait for Alphone to go and for us to get some money so we can get ourselves a... Reason, what are these raiders? Oh, well, they're not raiding me, so it doesn't matter. Well, Olav is swayed. Good stuff. Do not hit this way, please. Got a land stick. Uh, I believe that, um, that's, was it, no, Squirtle and Wartortle were both brothers. Yeah, if we want to see the sibling tree, mm. here's Squirtle and Wartortle. They aren't identical. These ones are, though. Hey. Charmander and Charmeleon are uh, these two are not. Interesting, because that means well, both sides have it. I don't know if this actually follows real life. Um, yeah. True. Inheritance. <laughs> All right, now we wait for uh, for something to happen or for our money to go up. Mm-hmm. Gotta get that money. Well, now that I think about it, um, one must be. Could come on either side and one must be on the female side. Alright, we got our walls in Ormond, I think it was. That wasn't. Oh! Enemy of Ron. While studying the tactics of the ancient generals, I was astonished to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Barker <coughs> during the Second Punic War. Uh, known as the Enemy of Rome, Hannibal's crowning achievement was the Battle of Cannae, where his army of roughly 50,000 outmaneuvered. And encircled the larger 86,000 strong Roman army, surrounded and unable to retreat, only 3,000 Romans survived the massacre. Like Hannibal, I will annihilate my enemies. You get an aggressive attack attacker. Enemy fatal casualties, plus 25%. Hannibal was a true master of Fabian tactics. You get logistics and supply duration extra, but that gives me more stress because I'm impatient. Isn't Fabi wasn't Fabian on the, um, the Roman side, not the Hannibal side? Because... Dunno. I could get flexible leader, enemy defense advantage, minus 50%, but get 40 stress because I'm arrogant and impatient. I'll just take the one that doesn't give us stress. Mm -hmm. Right now yeah. we only have like 40 stress. I'm pretty sure that Hannibal was um allied Carthage. Dunno. Maybe he just meant Fabian tactics as in the guy's tactics. Well, what the Fabian, fuck is happening over here? Are yeah. you losing your kingdom, buddy? Don't lose your kingdom. Uh, You're Fabian like tactics ally. were employed against Hannibal to try and um, force a Peric victory. Oh. It's where Fabian was like, no, we can't fight him where he's trying to lull us at fighting because that will fuck us up. Um, so pull back, don't let him like loot anywhere. Right. Don't engage him on his own terms. Uh, here's the faction, the inevitable faction. Uh -huh. Earl Charmander has created the faction to install Earl Charmander on the throne against me. So, there's multiple ways we can go about taking care of this problem. One is Stabbery, of course. He's the only one in here. He's too weak right now to send an ultimatum, so he's not desperate. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to immediately start swaying him. Um, I don't know how many of my children are, um, Charmeleon can marry. Uh, I can marry off Charmeleon to somebody. That'd be pretty decent. Um, so I'm like, wait, how many of my kids do I have left? Two. I got, like, this kid, she's already spoken for, isn't she? Yeah. Uh. She's already. No, she's, um. She's she already under somebody's tutelage. Yeah. Bill Olav. Yeah. But so instead of switching, I could just switch her over, but then piss off all over, and I don't want to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep him doing this, and 
What's my current spy masters? 23. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good spy mastery, frankly. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we can do both. We can try and do it diplomatically, and we can also attempt to murder Kant. I'm already scheming against him. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I can just stop that sway then. Or I could. Uh, I'll try this way. We'll try this way. It's more likely to succeed. Mm -hmm. If things go badly, I'll try and kill him. Yep. But uh, right now, he's the only guy in the faction. He can't really. He's too weak to send an ultimatum right now. I haven't done anything to piss everybody off yet, but this does inevitably happen. Your your ear takes over, and somebody's like, I should have the throne. Or even this guy, who I'm closer to, should have the throne. <laughs> Wait, how's our steward? He's 13, that's fine. Okay. My uncle Lorcan has gained opinion of me thanks to my wife. Nice. Despite her poor diplomacy skills, or middling diplomacy skills, I think it is. Probably poor. Paranoid and deceitful. Oof, yeah, that was really... In the yeah. general opinion, people just don't like her. Yeah. I mean, general opinion, people like me. I'm generous. Oh, and you've got a prowess of 12. Handy. And I got a martial pick available. Okay, so he was clearly hitting this way. Yeah. So we'll just go towards strategist and... I don't need anything just yet. Uh-huh. I don't you think I really need... need... Celibacy. Yeah, because like, I don't think either of these are like super useful. Mm. Yeah. I guess I could like increase my natural dread, perhaps, but... <laughs> Other than that... Mm -hmm. People tend to not do stuff against you when you when they dread you because they're fucking shit scared of you. Mm -hmm. A story about the fire roars, drinks have been had, and Hunyad, my queen, is calling out for me for a story. Uh, my first thought was a famous Irish folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I took a story of my own and perhaps of the time I married Petty Queen Hunyad? Keep her traditional, she gains stuff from me in uh, 15 opinion and is closer to forming a friendship. Or I get prestige. Well, I don't really need that much prestige right now, so I'm going to keep it traditional. If my wife is my friend, she won't try and kill me. And we might get some more ears. I Just... might get some more ears. Hopefully not as many as I had siblings. Yeah. That was too much, man. I can have the one or two just to keep things tossing over. Oh, man, she's really helping me out. Nice. With the domestic affairs. El Charmander is swayed, so if I sway him enough... He likes me enough, he'll just disband the faction. Because right. he's happy with me being on the throne. Oh, oh. So let me just have a look, see here. Uh, base. Okay, yeah, everyone but here is insular. And like a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Bodyguard position fa vacated. Oh, my chancellor just died. Of what? Um, I could have checked. Well, actually, wait a minute. Old age. Old age. Well, 68. Oh, shit. The clock's still ticking. Um, let me put somebody on charge there. I could even put Charmander on there, and yeah. that would make him happier. And it's actually, like, the best dude for it. Jesus yeah. Christ. That will hopefully make him disband his faction. Yeah, and I need another bodyguard because he also my bodyguard. Uh, one more, yep. Yeah. Um, sure. Dub Thatch, enjoy being my bodyguard. Okay, so Charmander has got to like me now. Yeah, he's like at eighty percent. Yeah. Some people will continue. Oh, Charizard can marry. Interesting. Um. Oh, I could marry her to Earl Olav, and that would make him like me. Okay, yeah. This guy has a claim on the lordship of Dyfed, but Dyfed's our ally right now, so I don't really need yeah. that. And the faction disbanded, because yeah. he likes me now. Okay. So let's marry her to him, huh? Like, that's... Let's see, can we... No, we won't. Okay, there's... It... Inheritable traits bleeder, mm. but I don't care. Are you a bleeder? Oh shit, you're a bleeder. Jeez. Are, are, are my fucking, is my kid a bleeder? Is this just something? 
that's in my lineage? I don't think so. No. It's just just a young... coincidence. Yeah. Okay, so this way he'll be happy with me. We probably don't need that many alliances right now. We're just trying to take over Ireland. Yeah. We have all the whales on our side. Mm-hmm. And it means that this dude will just, like, probably never send up a faction against me. Mm-hmm. Because well-organized levy service. Nice. So now all we have to do is wait for the money to basically just start... Probably Dublin will, will start trying to lay claim on. <laughs> fabricate a claim there and then just like get out there but we need more money we need we need the cash about how much money do we need right now 110 although i think there is admittedly um oh no i'm already getting the cost reduction so mm. it might be less but i don't want to go into bankruptcy immediately upon entering war mm -hmm. So we can check at 65 if we can start, because that's half of 110. Charmander's getting swayed. getting swayed more. Yep, he's happy. I have diplomatically solved the problem. I've diplomatically solved all of my fucking issues. It's great. <laughs> but uh, this guy's got a warfare strategy focus, so we're going to want to leverage that a little. Yep. Council of Finn died. Ooh, died of old age. Oh, well, that was my bishop, obviously, because it's like, new bishop, and he still supports me. I'm endorsed yeah. by my bishop. Wow. And so you you still don't like me, do you? Yeah. That said, I don't think you're landed, are you? You're no. unlanded. I could give him land if I really wanted to. That'd piss off whoever used to have it. Mm -hmm. That could cause problems. So we, we did we need to appoint a new person to his... No, because he was a bishop, so he just gets Im immediately replaced by the Pope. Yeah. The Pope decides who my bishops are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, once we get up to 60, you're right. We can just do that and then see how much it costs. Sorry, you're right. 55 would be the, um, the half of the... Uh... Yeah. Of 110? I think last time we were seeing 100 and something, and we had the same perk, so... We'll see. Daughter learnt Bryphonic. Mm -hmm. From... whom? From Ormond, apparently. Yeah, we've been being very domestic here. Playing it safe on the domestic front so that we can fight on the there foreign front. 60? Okay. Oh. Come to my attention that some local commoners are moving into Innes, capital of my half brother El Charmander. Local needs what newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm and his perception of me. So I can give him money and sway gains progress, but we're already we've swayed him about as much as we need to. Yeah. Oh god. What the fuck happened, Ivy Saw? Uh we're about to find out. <laughs> Died from internal injuries. What? Oh you... no! How did you get those? He did not deserve this. Okay, so... Is that your brother or your son? Your son. That was my son. Okay, so we definitely... Damn, need we need baby. another son. Yep. I mean, we could have this one, but yeah, like, this one's our ear right now, but yeah, no, it's not... Not great. Okay. So, um, yeah... Let's see. I am going to romance my wife. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, meanwhile, fabricate a, fabricate a claim, please. Okay. Because, yeah, damn, that guy was being set up. Yep. He was 21 already. Mm, that's a shame, because I'm like 41. Did he manage anyone, oh. any kids? No, he didn't. Did he have a wife? He had a wife. Not anymore. Yeah. That is a real um, problem. This is why you mostly want to veer on the side of Moria's. Mm -hmm. But I need to get a, a boy out there quickly. So that uh, if he's born right about now, he can be maybe in his 20s by the time he takes over. Get that strategist. Because this one is 
Natural Druid and Prowess. Yeah, we'll just get the Strategist one. Mm -hmm. And now we can see what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we have... All right, I have been made aware that Petty Queen Hunyad is very close to her father, Prince Bledon. Gaining his favor might help me catch Hunyad's attention. I'll get Bledon whatever he asks for. Gets a weak hook on me. Mm. Gains 25 opinion, seduce, and I could pay, help him pay off his loans. Um, or I could not. Okay, I'm going to let him have a weak hook. What's the worst that could happen, right? This guy's, um, he's not my friend because that was my dad. Yeah. I mean, we already know what he likes. Let's find out. He's going to get a hook on us, but we're not his vassal, so not that much he can do. Next time we meet Hunyad offers me a wider smile than usual. My father Blennon told me how you helped him, and I wanted to offer my thanks. Mm -hmm. Budding interest. Yes, scheme success, chance increase. Yeah, I'm not sure what he could ask for me with a weak hook. It's not that bad, I don't think. Let's just check in with the Dublins. Uh, yeah, he's allied with Ulster, though. Gets 900 and Ulster gets 500. And we have. Oh? Uh, 1350. Flaffer Bush has decided that this time. His time in Luminique has come to an end. Right, he's just fucking off. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. With him goes his claim to the end. It's the Earldom of Oriel. Is that one up there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's almost always to just say, hey, give me one year, and I'll press it. Worst case, he leaves a year later. Mm-hmm. There's no downsides. Reading in Luminique. Celebrations have come to an end in the evening. Entertainment seemed to be over. Pity Queen Omnid suggested a reading. Clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Honeyed. So, we've got to go for something that she likes. She is high on... 12 of learning, so... Oh, I have a religion... Entertainment. Homes. Or informative. Damn, that doesn't help me. Informative? Wouldn't that be good for her intellectual? She's got 135 piety. That's not much... Hmm. I don't um, know. I, I would go with probably informative. Okay. Ah, uh, no. As the clerk drones on and on, I can tell Hunyad's attention is slipping. While I'm thinking of how to solve the situation, my bishop Don Chad suddenly chimes in. My humbly request, we read the Summer Theologia instead, and she perks up. Why didn't I think of that? Awkward interactions. God damn it. She didn't seem interested in being pious, though. She didn't seem that pious to me, no. I think it was the fucking droning asshole that was the problem. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, got stuff. Another person? Squirtle wants to be on my council? Oh, he's actually better than Charmander already. Uh, hmm. Well, Charmander likes me plenty now when I married my daughter off. Yep. Let's see how this Squirtle does, huh? Mm hmm. Which one was learning Oh, under? actually, Charmander will get, like, minus 60 for that. Mm. Uh, didn't he study under, um, the steward? Was that who he was studying? Quite possibly, yeah. Okay, we'll leave him for now. He, he's just a kid, right? Yeah. She'll be right. Damn, though. It sucks that my dude just, my son just died. Oh, smuggling ring. Does that mean we have to enforce shit again? Yeah, it looks as though... Looks like we got to enforce some more control. Some people's lackluster, somebody's lackluster duty, uh, marshalling skills of. Hey. Spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is planning to kill my knight Dubfatch. We must hey. stop the villain behind this. Bears. Oh, looks like our claim is ready. See it done. It'll be eighty-four, so we will be in. For a tiny bit, yeah. And now we can declare war, so... Wait, we can't declare war? Why can we not declare war? 
Uh, give it a like couple of seconds of end game time, and you should be able to do it. Scheme to sub. It was my steward, Anso. Well, he doesn't like you. We do know that. Oh, your beloved wife. Look at that. How happy she is. Eh. Servants have all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with seashells. Ooh. Penny Queen Hardy enters our bed chambers. She smiles intriguingly and joins me without any hesitation. The help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before God. Okay. Sure, more information than I needed, but... Alright. Time for that to happen. Um, no, we still can't fucking declare war on, on, on Dublin. That's annoying. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. We're no longer in debt, so we can... Let's declare some war. And we have, like, a ton of prestige, so we can just bring our dudes in there. Now, where's our marshalling point at? I don't know how you tell. Where is it? Luminique? Oh, well, we'll just put one here so that we can get in there faster. And then this costs extra, so we'll just get rid of it. Apparently there's of no, absolutely no cost to do this. Yeah. Alright, allies are getting in. Let's head this way. Also, my allies are closer than his allies. Yeah. Also, the Ulsterians have gone in there, but that's fine. We already beat up his main forces. Now we are besieging his capital. Looks like that, we're doing yeah. pretty well. We've reached the wall. Hey, I gotta gain, I gained a little fame. Woo! In worst case, we could uh, marry off War Turtle in a pinch to get another ally. And so just died! Of old age. <laughs> well, time to put somebody on there, and I think it's gonna be Bulbasaur. Oh, sorry, Squirtle. Let's see. Oh. Uh, Squirtle is only second most important. Let's see. So the best one we have is our spy master, which we won't do. Um, we could put Squirtle in there, honestly. Yeah? Pretty sure that's what he's been learning up? He's been looking... Well, he's been learning up on... on diplomacy, actually. How's Charmander? Charmander, are you any good at, um, diplomacy? I was... At, uh, stewardship, you're seven. And Bulbasaur... Uh, Squirtle, you are at what? I'll put the second one down. Nah, that's Bulbasaur... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's seven, so we'll switch... Switch him to Earl Charmander. And Earl Charmander, oh, yeah. Yep, there you go, Your Honor. And then we can get him to be our diplomat. diplomat. He also seems to have been wounded. Oh. He's been wounded. Okay. So he must have been out there. Sorry, Anso, you, you did me okay for the yeah. time. Whoa, they got a big force coming in, but not as big as ours. Looks like they're gonna get, uh... Oh, never mind. We just captured the Earl. Um, you know what? I reckon we could probably beat them up once before the... For, like, a bit of prestige. And maybe some more, uh, prisoners. Okay. And then we enforce the demands. Okay, so, we took him as prisoner. We have any prisoners? No, we released him because now he's part of the old gang. Yeah. And yeah, I can create the Duchy of Meath. That'd be cool. Need money for it. Needs money though. Let's do that next time we have the money. Yeah. Generally, it's better to create these things than to not. Mm -hmm. That means like fewer tiny little titles of equal value for your um, ears to fucking squabble over. Mm -hmm. A vessel, low country control in Dublin, county control in Dublin, I know that. As soon as I'm done with our phone, I'll move over to that. Mm. Over taxation causes banditry and famines. Wow. Sucks. Because of Charmander's fuckery. He's not very good at his job. In fact, what is your focus, Charmander? Like, what is your... It's Marshall, and you're not that good at it compared to... Yeah, everyone else you've got. This knight that I have. Reminds me, is he, like, the best one of mine... Yeah, he is. The walls of Dublin. 
Delegation from Dublin slowly flies out of my private chambers, files out of my private chambers. Our long meeting finally over. The petition is big for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding. And I have invoked my lordly duty to help them out. Oh, sorry, they have invoked my lordly duty to help them out. I drum my fingers on the table, pondering whether to send them the funds. Good fortifications are hideously expensive. Of course, if the walls are crumbling anyway, then I could always divert their existing stipend to more personal matters. So, I have a duty to care for my subjects. I spend 50... Gain 50 stewardship lifestyle experience, mm -hmm. and they get professionally rebuilt walls, which does increase their fort level and mm -hmm. popular opinion. I shall supervise the reconstruction personally. 0%, I masterfully improve it. 44%, I successfully improve it, uh, and it has adeptly rebuilt walls, which is still pretty decent. Or 55%, I botch it. Disastrously rebuilt walls. I gain 40 stress. And I gained some martial lifestyle experience points. Uh, and it looks like that or is... the money for me. Oh. Um, it looks like the 40 stress and the martial lifestyle are regardless of the outcome. Yes. Yeah. And that would mean... Oh, that would get me into critical, but that's fine. Mm. I'm, I'm probably just going to do it. I'm just going to give them the money. Yeah. As annoying as that is. It'll put you into debt. Puts me into while. debt. Now, as for my stress... As for my stress, I should yeah. probably do some stuff that's good for my stress. I don't have anything on here that doesn't cost me money. Okay. Hey, Shane. We're not going to attempt suicide down the bottom there. And We're not going to attempt suicide. No. I'm, I'm troubled that that is there. Sometimes you're better off just taking over as your new ear. Uh-huh. And this is to do with the Reconquista, which doesn't have anything to do with us. Right. So once our phone's back in, we'll get Dublin up to snuff, and that'll start getting us more money from there. Dublin's only getting us, like, 0.1. It's also, I much. still notice that your wife hasn't become pregnant. No, she still fucking hasn't, has she? No. She's managed grief. Oh, she's, like, grieving for a loved one. It's just more what do you call the Is that from her son? Oh, uh, yeah, it probably is from her son. Uh, okay. The Earldom of Dublin has given rise to the North Catholic Populists. Okay, so there's no one in this... Oh wait, there is. But it's the Earldom of Dublin. Right, right so maybe I should... Uh, it's almost close. It's almost done in Alphone, right? I think I so, can yeah. wait. Worst case, I can just beat them down. Mm -hmm. We've got nothing else we're going to be doing with our uh, armies for a while yet. Money's too tight. Sorry, for yawns? Well, he's too tight for steak. Steak? But uh, no. Sure. Undisciplined recruits. Today I'm observing o Earl Olav of Ormond as he trains some of his new levies. But the recruits under his, new under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to, na to train new soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. Teach him what I know. Gets me martial lifestyle experience points. Olav accepts your advice. He's his marshal gets increased. If he refuses, he loses some opinion. So that's pretty good. Cheer him up. Gets me forty stress because I'm impatient, and he gets twenty spends or chastise him. I get dread. He loses twenty opinion and spends hundred. I'm going to try and teach him. Yeah. Are you any good? Advice, Advice accepted. accepted. Yep. It's almost like we're a good commander or something. Pull Earl Olav over to one side while his recruits attempt to continue their training. The key with training new soldiers is instilling discipline, I tell him. Without that, you are unable to depend on them to follow your orders. After I finish, Olav thanks me for strolling back on into the field, where he quick, excuse me, quickly takes control of the situation. Good. Nice. Because um, I think Olav is one of those dudes who's constantly, yeah, he's constantly wanting a position on the council, and... Constantly found wanting. When this guy dies, maybe. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, which one of these helps us better? Hmm. I could get more dread, which would mean that people are less likely to get factions against me. Mm. Might be a good idea. Are there any things we want further down the chain, I suppose, is the question? Um, well, it's not the question. I mean, there are other stuff. It's pretty okay. But right now, considering, like, I'm like, we'll take what's more useful at the time. Yeah. As I said before, like, beelining for stuff you want down the chain, unless you really need it, not normally a good idea, because mm. you'll often not live to see it. 
Mm. It was more that if it's if all other things were equal, that would be the next thing to weigh. I think the dread's is something that we want, mm. and our dread is now eleven, which has got to be making yeah. some people piss themselves with fear, right? Got our phone be. tantalizingly close, and faction disbanded. Mm -hmm. I was scary enough they didn't want to try it. Almond inefficient census. Damn it! Not enough control around here. Get your shit together, Marshall. Mm -hmm. Oh. Alright. He just got that shit together. Dublin absolutely needs it the most. In fact, fuck a lot of our area. Yeah, only Desmond See, doesn't seem to be trying to fuck off with us. Yeah, that's annoying. But oh well, we got plenty of peace time to sort that out. Yeah. And I've cut the conics off from this half of the map. Mm -hmm. Successfully, unless they do some marriage shenanigans in Leinster. Mm -hmm. so, we do marriage for shenanigans. It's our daughter spoken for. Um, we have War Turtle who can do stuff. I guess we could always try, right? Um, no, it's only going to be Blastoise. Okay, she is our daughter. Yes. But uh, here's the thing: we we really if we. We don't want to marry her off yet until we get a male heir. Yeah. Because otherwise we're really... Oh, I can vassalize Earl Domino. Mmm. Low feudal obligations, baby. He has succeeded. Oh, uh, I just have Oriole now. Sweet. Uh, Domino, I can declare war on Earl Selen of Elik. Nice to know. We don't want to do that yet, but nice to know. Yeah. Uh, Donald, are you good at anything? Not that much, no. But he does have kids we can possibly use. Oh, actually, he's already married into my family. Venus so he was my ally, now he's just my vassal. Sweet. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. It's at negative seven right now. Well, we're not swaying anyone, are we? Might as well. I already seduced my wife. My wife, Your wife can vassalize Earl Salad. Mm. Sure. Uh, we got it. Rather than declare war, we just vassalized him. Yeah. Titles can be created. Duchy of Meath and the Duchy of Ulster. <laughs> Both of these we can't afford to do yet, but... Let's see... Oriel, Oman, Aelik, um, that guy's 15. Does not need to have a seat on the council. Honestly, how did you get this position? Uh, probably somebody died. I guess. Can we but, marry uh, Yeah, that was, that was a pretty useful couple of uh, seconds of, yep. of the game. We've now increased to most of Ireland. Yep. Connex doesn't stand a fucking chance. Oh. Cousin killed in siege. My cousin Inna. Killed by Duke Conan of Brittany. You're my cousin, huh? Okay. Well, I don't care too much about you. Yeah. Do you hold a position in, on the council? I assume. Nah. I guess he was in Winnard? Most likely. Maybe? I don't know who Brittany's been fighting. Everyone. They are a scrappy little colony. They're not a colony, are they? I mean, no, but yes. Did you can't elaborate on that? No, but yes. <laughs> um, so let me see. That guy's not willing to... He's already married. Um, we could marry in... Um, let's see if we could marry in... Wait. Mm hmm Okay, obviously I've fucked up somewhere. Arranged marriage... Why are you... You're unmarried, dude. I'm trying to arrange a marriage with you. Why are you only accepting men? Is he gay? Is there any way to tell that? No, he's just not letting anyone arrange marriage for himself. Hmm. I guess it's like only arrange marriage for someone under him. Okay, uh, hold on. Go hover over arrange marriage again for a second. Uh, suggest a marriage involving either one of your children, one of, or two of him. him. Yeah. 
So why is he not letting me marry anyone to himself? Um, what if I did that? Okay. Okay, we'll accept. Damn, shame. If I could do a matrilineal marriage with this guy because he's under my thumb, that'd be very useful. But yeah. No. In fact, is anyone willing to matrilineally marriage this one? I might... I could do that! Yep. <laughs> That's a good Hail Mary, I guess. Marry her to one of my unwedded brothers. Yep. So we're gonna leave you... Yeah, we're gonna leave you unmarried for now. As an emergency situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that moment where your your dad keeps on being like, hmm. I can vassalize this guy too. Yeah. Holy shit. Ulster. I got Ulster. Yeah. Is he wanting a seat on the council? No, apparently not. <laughs> oh my god, this is working way better than I thought. Just vassalizing dudes left and right. Mm hmm. Sonic doesn't stand a chance. I like the idea that they're just quietly pissing themselves in a corner. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. People do want seats on councils now. Um, but none of them are that good. Oh, I can house my head of faith for gold. Wait, you would not accept this offer? Why did you tell me to do it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it because he doesn't like me? Ah. I'm tempted to simply... Could you use your daughter like a, um, a chip to make somebody like you more? Um, I could get her, um... What's that? Tutored? Tutored by tutored. someone, yeah. Yeah, maybe... It, it, I doubt the Pope's gonna want that, though. Offer guardianship. Right. Can't offer ward. What about, um... What's Wait, make him a ward? Offer making someone to call it a ward of him, okay? No, it's gonna be like an adult for some reason. Huh. Yeah. But yeah, can you offer the unmarried guy who won't accept a marriage a warding of your kid? Um oh you mean this one? Yeah. We could. If she's gonna be my ear though, she won't pick up too much from him because he's not that bright. Fair. I guess I could do that. Offer guardianship. Oh. A counselor died of old age. That means somebody else can get on there. And it's gonna be you. Alright, no longer have to worry about him. He's yeah. on the council now. Sweet. Now we have another dude wanting in. Oh good! The Pope got slightly happier with me. Yay! I'm just so you're happy. You're okay. You're not okay. I've just been you got 15 stewardship. Holy is, shit! Uh, frozen, so I'm just doing a thing to try and get it. Holy shit! Yeah, get the steward on here, man. Um and nah. All right, we got wealth. We can make a couple titles soon. Yay! Crusader kings, the Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and their routes are fraught with danger. Mm -hmm. That's the travel routes, no, you know what I mean. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness, Pope Stephanus, has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. The theological ramifications of the news are being, already being discussed by the King Bishop and other notable members of our clergy who are eager to follow the example of the Catholics and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of insula <laughs> insularism, insularism. If they say so, Christian faiths now have access to crusades. Wow. That's, oh, uh... hold up. Oh dear, the King of Wales has died. Ooh, we need to fix ourselves up with something there. Yeah. You're the current king. Uh, you only got daughters though. Primary ear is who? Who the fuck are you? Some guy. 
Yeah, they're not gonna accept the matrilineal marriage, are they? No. Nobody wants the matrilineal marriage. We may have to do some inbreeding. Yep. May just have to happen. Yep. Oh, in fact, shit. Um, Gwynedd is now two realms. Yeah. Again. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a man's home. Controlled territory, defender advantage plus five. Strict organization, increased control, and county progress gain. 10 percent I think that's going to yep, be pretty useful. That sounds pretty good, considering we keep losing control. We keep losing control. Uh, Petty King Godrode has formed the Norse Gale hybrid culture from the Gaelic and Norwegian cultures. Who do you own? Oh, you own the Isles. Donald's not swayed, that's fine, we can keep swaying that fucker. Yep. That was our control looking. Pretty decent, except for the parts that we originally owned in Dublin. <laughs> I like that taking Dublin was just like the tipping point. It's like, well then this guy might as well get vassalized. Then that one might as well. Then this one might as well. Might as well. Well you there. Yeah, like Leinster might possibly be um on the way as well. <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't have so many dudes to sway, I'd be swaying him so that he might Not just so, decide yeah. to vassalize himself. I mean, we you you wouldn't accept a matrilineal marriage, would you? No, it's like. But then again, that's his heir. What if we what if we were to do that for not the heir? Oh. This works. Yep. We are now joined. Can we now kill his heir? I like the way you think, Philippa. <laughs> I mean, it's it's wah, the dumb thing, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, as let's, far as let's I get scheming, huh? Yeah, as far as um, I understand the game, that's the next logical step. We're set. gonna put this guy on support my schemes. He's not as good as the last one, mm -hmm. but he's still pretty good. Alright, we're getting close to being able to make some of these duchies, which is nice. Got to slowly just... He still doesn't like me that much, despite the fact that I just did a sick marriage arrangement with him. Well, you did give him the shit marriage arrangement. I did. It's 212 we need for this, so we're getting close. Yep. Can make ourselves some duchies, get some prestige. Mm hmm Make people happy. Maybe. Hey, Donald swayed some more. Um How 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 swayed are you? You're pretty swayed. Yeah, these guys aren't starting too much trouble. Yet. Give them a little time. Yeah. Let's see how things are in the world right now. Humania. Oh, okay. Oh, my scheme got discovered, but my involvement is not yet known, so that's fine. We'll just have to sit us back a little bit, but we're going to be okay. Damn. While studying the tactics of the ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Alexander the Great during his conquest of, Mes conquest of Mesopotamia. During the Siege of Tyr, Alexander assaulted an island fortress by demolishing a nearby town and then using the rubble to build a causeway stretching from the mainland to the city's walls. This allowed his siege engines to attack this enemy fortress directly, though it was his navy which ultimately caused a breach. No amount of water will stop my enemies, gets me fodder. Mm -hmm. Just like my mom and pa. Uh, turning one of the foe's resources against them? Brilliant. Reaver gives us raid speed. I can't actually raid yet. Mm -hmm. In fact, Okay, so why waste time studying daggers that didn't work? We'll get Forda. We'll, we'll take the trait that we're given. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're at 216, so we can now create either the Duchy of Meath or the Duchy of Ulster. Um, both of them give the same amount. Duchy of Ulster's bigger, though. Alright, we have created it. It's created... Mm -hmm. Kingdom of Ireland is the next one we are going to want. Because yep. guess what? Primogenitor. Uh, Primogenitor. Yep. 
is installed in kingdoms. <laughs> Not empire ships, but kingdoms. So we could make Ireland, and I honestly am just going to just save up money until I can do that. And I will probably live long enough to do that. <laughs> the Blastoise Nick Cadavy is intimidated by my dreadful reputation, fearing you, she's less likely to oppose you directly. Sweet. The child fears me. Oh, man. So, um, the one thing I was looking at, uh, because of course the protest I went to, A, was turned into no protest due to the um, person fleeing from people. Why, yeah, why people already that? juiced it. Yeah, people juiced her, and she was like, oh, nobody respects my right to free speech, and it's like, you, you got your free speech. The consequences of your free speech are this. Delegation from Dublin slowly fu- Oh, fuck, what? Didn't I already give you guys money? Yeah, you did. We professionally- I already gave you the money. Yeah. God damn. Mmm. Well, I guess money again, annoyingly. Yeah, no. Yes, I am a dick. Um, uh, but yeah, so, um, anyway, uh, I was looking at the, um, at the paper to see what, uh, what they'd put in the thing about it. And there was an article that I had to look at which called All the Weird Things Kiwis Have Thrown at People During Protests. Um, it was a shoe once, wasn't there? Or, no, it was an egg. It was an egg. There's been a couple of different ones. The first one on the list was um, poo. Like, classy. Various Keep it classy. New horse poo. <laughs> yep. Ooh, additional taxes. I like that. It's good. Um, bricks and pavers, which was less cool, which was um, part of the uh, anti-vax protest. So, you know, horrible. Um, a riot broke out as the police officer closed in on the grounds, removing the protesters and taking out the camp. In response, protesters dug out brick pavers. Ah, shit, my involvement was discovered. Damn. Everyone's mad at me now. I'm unlikely to be able to vassalize these dudes. Fuck. That said, you know, yeah. I'm still in the family. That's I do good. get dread, though. Cool. But yeah. It was so, worth a go, I think. Yeah. That was us trying to murder the kid, right? Yeah, I'm now a um, known murderer. Which is weird. I thought that had, like, a thing that was going to cause me problems. Hard rule. Dread game plus 20%. Siege progress against revolts. 50%. Mm. Faction military power threshold for vassals plus twenty percent. I like that. Yeah, I'll take that. It's like most of the stuff we throw is non-murderous. Ooh, I lost my physician. Hire a fort and new bishop. Mm. Um, all these dudes have poor aptitude. Mm. I think it's worth the money to get a physician. Oh yeah, what happened? Yeah. Well, once she died. died. Yeah. Search for a physician. Start the search, it's worth it, even though that's going to kind of hamstring my attempts to start the kingdom. We need 400 bucks for that. For Carta, it was, what, 15? That's pretty good. Alright, new position. Uh, wet t-shirt? That's weird, wow. we tried to kill his son, did nothing. Yeah? It's like minus 10 still. Maybe he just really doesn't care about the sun, which is also why you'll have natural lineal matter. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's the other sun, though. Yep. Uh, flower bombs. The infamous, uh, toy. Right. Oh. Uh. Expired <laughs> with Domnal, but joined this guy. Fuck. Well, okay, he still likes me plenty. I was like, I've been swaying this guy's dad. <laughs> but he still likes me plenty. He's happy with me. Blastoise has come of age. And that means... Wait, she's a wastrel? How the fuck did she... Indulgent wastrel. Fuck. And her spouse is too young to knock her up and have her... Uh, um, currently, yes. He's only ten. Yeah. She's six years older than him. But yeah, like, according to this, there's only been one, uh... One egg? No, uh, one major incident of, like, damaging items, aka the pavers. Sweaty tired in need of nest... in need of rest and food. 
Long day training with the troops. Oh, this is the uh, this is the going to the castle one yeah, again. Yeah, going to the Let's castle. Let's go into the castle. There could be money. Uh, search the upper floors. Could find money. Or I could gain face my fears. But also dread and stress. Yeah, if I wuss out. So I'm going to get the money. Yeah. Because I want the money anyway. Yeah. Fuck, I'm being raided. Oh, crap. Shit, and there's like 2,700, so I'm not going to be able to stop them. Damn it, they're like even... sieging my fucking capital. No, they're not. Thorman's your capital, isn't it? Uh, oh, actually, this is my capital up here. Yeah. Thorman, yeah. Okay, they fucked off pretty quick. My niece got taken quit prisoner though. Not one of mine. Not not someone I um oh. I, I named. That sucks. <laughs> They're gonna ransom me back, and I may just tell them to fuck off. This is that's good. This will be uh this will be relevant to you, which is um uh in the Whitemore Caves they've spotted koi. Koi. Oh, that's yeah. not good. Yeah. So it's Charizard and Earl Olav that's going to be pissed off if I don't do that. Okay. Now, back to... Ooh, yeah, Desmond. Desmond's in trouble. Gotta increase control there. Okay. Yes, that sucks, because yeah. Koya are big and introduced and probably eat everything. Yep, yeah, that is the problem indeed, and it's the white mo caves, which are very delicate. Uh, I do not know how delicate they are, but, uh, you know, they could well be delicate. Yeah. Uh, it's likely the cave system could need computer modeling to get a true idea of the impacts of inserting a downstream fish barrier. Um... So, do you want to guess? Or do you want to hear the name of the team that's uh, working to like evaluate what's going on? Oh, that's first. I have written, taken aim, and struck so many times before nothing could upset my rooms. This is the falling off a horse thing. Yeah. Calm down, boy. So, thirty-seven percent. I stay on and get some martial experience and gain the trait wounded, or I die for sta stable ground, better safe than sorry. So I would get critical stress from that, which would suck. So I'd say but my chance. I think it's better than being wounded. If you think so, I think it is. Okay, achievement unlocked. Stressful situation. Mental break. Coming home to roost. As I walk the corridors of my palace, frustrated, many of my courtiers seem to be droning on and on about some problem they're having in Luminic. I wish they would just hurry up and fix things themselves without me having to personally deal with every little thing. Something about the decision discussion sounds familiar, though. Was that law not my idea? Was it, is this my fault? Sod this, I'm off to the whorehouse. Gain the trait... Oh, gain the trait rakish. Diplomacy minus one. Intrigue plus one. Stress loss plus 20%. Uh, attraction opinion minus five. Opinion of rakish characters plus five. I swear to God, I'll punch someone. Gain the trait irritable. Diplomacy minus two, martial minus one, prowess plus two, stress plus twenty percent, uh, stress loss plus twenty percent, dread gain plus ten percent, attraction opinion five, unlocks the release your anger interaction, which lets you duel with people, um, or I just gain some stress, and if I'm still stressed in five years, I may suffer another mental break, which is you know bad. Damn, both of these decrease my um, relationship with wife. The yeah. mindless chatter one does not. Well, this one, yeah, yeah, but this could kill me. Sure. Mental breaks are bad. Yeah. Yeah, um... I guess whorehouse? Such wonder maybe has inherent risks. Okay, we're rakish now. Which means that now I think we've got the opportunity to visit a brothel to decrease my stress. Cost me money, though. Yeah. Okay, so the name of the team, or the so the two last names that have been turned into the team name, are Smart S M A R T and yeah. Fisher, spelt spelt F I S C H E R. So it's right. Smart, Smart Fisher. Fisher. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm sure that's not intentional, but also damn. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to be swaying Earl Olav right now. I think probably targed at most. Honestly, fuck it. Leinster, I'm gonna swear you. 
I might be able to vassalize you if you simply liked me better. <laughs> At which point, you know, situation sorted. Oh! Dynasty Legacy! We finally got enough for now on, because we didn't have to disinherit anyone in a while. Yeah. So basically you get these, these all get unlocked for every member of your dynasty. So Ooh. from now, forever. So our options are uh, Language Scholars. Learn Language Scheme Power plus 20%, can learn an additional language without penalties. Gain 1% cultural acceptance when completing Learn Language Schemes. Warriors Prowess plus 2, Night Effectiveness plus 15. Mostly fear, popular opinion, plus five, hunt and feast cost, minus 30%. Hunts and feasts are pretty useful, I haven't been using them yet, but they're, they're kind of good. Guile, dread, gain, plus 20%, natural dread, plus 15. Noble veins, chance of inheriting good congenital traits, plus 30%. Chance of new good congenital traits, plus 30%. Mm -hmm. Vibrant court, courtier and guest opinion, plus 10. Court grandeur bonus, plus five. Better guests will be attracted, guest recruitment cost, minus 30%. Desirable Mash, Marriage Acceptance, plus 30%. And Bounteous Loins, Fertility, plus 10%, Attraction Opinion, plus 5 Like, normally I go for House of Warriors, but honestly, I think Desirable Mash might be needed, considering we are yeah. in filler right now. And that just seems to be kicking us off. Yeah, it's kicking us so in the pants. So, so let's Desirable that match. Yeah. Alright. I have not taken this one before, have I? I might actually have. Alright, we're over halfway to earning that, um, that Kingdom of Ireland. And the, yeah, the increase in control continues. I wonder that it doesn't show me how much I'm getting from here. No, it actually does. Reduce by 28% due to low control. A shame. But yeah, those those Welsh, huh? They should it Whoa, okay. So Oh, lines about leg legacy. The latest work of my acquaintance, Petty King Goodrod, has become all the rage at the court of late. The peace deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Goodrod has publicly dedicated it to me. Aww. Lament for the Pity King. Men not, need not fear as lives depart, provided they leave behind them art. Tis rare enough for men to admit that their deeds leave those left after split. So far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore much longer. I don't know quite how to feel about this. Okay, so diplomacy challenge. 81%, the palm was lauded. Gained 20 opinion of him. Gained 50 piety. Um, and... 18% palms mocked, he gets mad, I gain 75 prestige. Or I can just get 20% opinion and 50% uh, and 50 piety. Yeah. Piety. Which I'm like, why, why, would I, why would I take the other one that has the possibility of pissing him off? Yeah. I guess if I really wanted the, if I wanted the prestige. Mm. But I don't really need the prestige, so I'll just be happy that Gudrod likes me. Yeah. Now, for some reason, and he's the king of the isles. Dave. One of the <laughs> so things are just yeah looking at random articles that seemed relevant to us just overall while looking at for this stuff. Oh yeah, the... look at this tiny kingdom here now. Gwyn. It's the Lordship of Gwent. I it's don't know if Gwyn. it's part of Gwynedd. Is it part of Gwynedd? Yeah, it is part of Gwynedd. Okay, I thought it was like just on its own. <laughs> but no, it's okay. like. Um, Dubuff, Dubuff has like all of this and has cut this off. Oh no! Something that happens a lot. Ooh, much of that. Let's see. Soldier of the list of fortune. Mercenary high cost minus thirty percent. Stalwart leader that gets me the prowess. I'll get the prowess. Yeah. My prowess is fourteen. I'm much better at this than my dad was. <laughs> Ooh, old age minus two. So that's why it could be even better. Yep. Don Chad is swayed. Nice to know. I remember Don Chad. There's a lot of Don Chads, man. There's so many of them. Uh, but yeah, so... Oh, be the landlord yeah. sort of threw a shit fit over the tenants complaining after their hot running water was not available for two weeks when the hot water heater stopped. Their, um, Which landlord is this? Uh, 
His name is Sam Bert Fruzo. Where is this? You've, you've you jumped in with no no context. <laughs> so I, I was saying that I'm listening sort of... You said it seemed relevant to us, and that was very vague. As in, uh, in terms of, you know, landlords we've had in the past being total shit eaters. Right, okay. Yep. Um, but yeah, so didn't fix the hot water system for like two weeks. Um, the HRV, which I think is their heat pump stuff, uh, were not working for two years, toilet did not properly flush, damaged shower head that wasn't replaced, window that didn't open and close properly. Um, during an inspection Gosh. where him, the property manager, and the people were all there, they brought, like, brought it up and he's like, how dare you like keep on complaining about all this maintenance stuff? And yeah, it's like, geez. What and, a fucked up yeah. society we live in where people are forced to live in places like this. Yeah. And not just fucking move. Yeah. They did, in fact, move out pretty quickly after that, but he has Yeah, been the fact that they before. decided to stick with- Oh no! Onion has been murdered! <gasps> okay! As you drew your love breath, relief washed over me. Perhaps I should be ashamed. But in truth, there was no love lost between us. Finally, I'm free to start my life in you. Oh well, I guess I gained- I lost some stress. Don't chairs not sway. Well, I'm back on the market, baby. Well. Um. Ooh. Kent? Kent seems nice. Ooh, you're strong. But that's ooh. not, um, that's not inheritable. Damn. Alas. <laughs> oh, she also has a dead spouse. We can join the dead spouse club together. I mean, seems zealous adventurer. Interesting. Yeah. And she's got good diplomacy, which is nice to have. Yeah? Yeah, let's jump her in there. Who knows? I might actually get, like, another, um... Yeah, with this. Another ear. Another achievement unlocked. Cool. All right. I'm now allied with the Kints. The Kintites. Wherever the fuck that is. We're now married. Hmm, good job. Um, wait, wait. Okay, so that's your brother-in-law was... Was like, you're, oh, Kent's pretty big. Um, oh, it's control big. has gone up. Oh boy, putting out fires over here. That's annoying. That said, we're very close to the Kingdom of Ireland. We're like fourteen away, so my dude just has to live about fourteen gold more. Yep. And she doesn't like me though. Well. Don't like me very much. Oh well. Once I'm done swaying this guy, ooh, little devotion. Once I'm done swaying this guy, I can, you know... Yeah, I don't have any particularly features that she'd hate. Once I'm done swaying this guy, I can, um... Oh, Don Chad. Oh yeah, I'm swaying him so that I can vassalize him. Yeah. Potentially. Here we go! Yeah. Create the kingdom! <laughs> The Irish court. You are now. You now have a royal court. I am no longer a petty king. I am a high king. king. As high king, you now have duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm, and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Earl Squirtle of Ossery is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps he has also some pride in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner, bearing the emblem of House Poke. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Let them see their new high king into the royal court. Gets a banner. Or I have more important things. No, I don't. Alright, we got court artifacts, baby! Alright, how about we, we, we can display this one right up here. Mm -hmm. Prestige plus 0.15, renown plus 0.06, building construction cost minus 3%, court grandeur bonus plus 2. Nice. And we have another Del Gaius. I assume that's your wife? No, I think no. that may be my mother. Um, Alright. All court artifacts, can you put the artifacts down somewhere? I just did, those were they. Oh, so not the that armor set you were getting. Neighbors can be vassalized. Oh my god, I can just vassalize these guys. 
I can just get Connect. Oh yeah, this was a good move. All right, greetings my serene liege. I have arrived in Luminique to pay homage to you, glorious high king, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts of your, ma of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Showmen! I wait patiently for my, on my throne for the arrival of El Scalen, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference as descendants bring forth, as attendants, sorry, bring forth his gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken, and scribes record his pledges to serve the Kingdom of Ireland. As Earl Skellin stands, he stumbles awkwardly, the court grasps in unison as, uh, gasps in unison as he falls, ending sprawled at my feet, cheeks flushed with embarrassment. Your oaths are all that matters to me. He spends 75, I gain 40 stress because I'm arrogant, I get 6 court grandeur, 150 prestige, 50 go, and the dynasty gets 50 renown, or I just say, what a fucking shambles, and I make him mad, I make him sad instead of making myself mad. Yeah, I'm happy to make him sad. Okay, okay. He likes me 78. 10 is not going to matter. He just got... Oh. Ah, uh, yes. I can ask my head of faith for gold. I will. To the boring High King Canopy. I have considered your plight and decided to grant your request. May these funds help you spread the true faith in your lands. I will use this wealth wisely. Okay. So, now we have a bunch of dudes who want council positions. I can create duchies, because mm -hmm. I have that, and I have money now, because a bunch of people gave me money because I'm a king. I also have something to do in my royal court. Ooh. Let's have a look. So, this dude is a really good-ass fucking... And you're of Ulster, and you like me fairly decently. Earl Tagged can be assigned. Uh, well, actually, he'll he'll lose way too much. Mm. Um, you... Nah. You... Oh, yeah. Earl Donchad. Of Don Leinster. Yeah, I don't think my brother can really do too much to me now. Yeah. The Duke of Connacht. Uh, he's got 14. That's almost as much as my Marshal who was unlanded. So we're gonna reassign... Reassign that guy. Uh, now, these duchies can be created, and I think I shall. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the Duchy of Meath, which is this one. Or the Duchy of Leinster. Meath looks slightly better, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> Alright, and when we have enough money, we can create that other duchy. Yep. I have too many duchies. Shit. So now I have to give one of these to somebody else. But that's fine. I can give it to someone who holds loyalty to me. Who likes me? Who likes me a lot? Not many of them. Don Chad likes you. Don Chad? Which up one? This one? Uh, he only right. likes me 20. Up and right. This is my bishop. I'm not giving him oh. land. Cool. Okay. What about your wife? My wife? I guess I could give her land. Let's see. Uh, no, I can't give her any land. Hey. Woman must be in a dominant. Or equal, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. What about this Earl? You own this. I mean, honestly, whoever... Who, who owns this? Don Chand. That Don This Chand, guy. Yep. So he likes me okay, and he'll probably like me better if I give him the duchy of uh, Leinster. Wait, no. Actually, apparently I have the Pity Kingdom of Meath and the Pity Kingdom of Munster. Yep. Uh, who owns these areas? Who owns Meath? Okay. So, uh, who owns this area? Me. Okay, I'm the direct donor. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just give somebody somewhere, we'll give them the, uh... Oh, yeah, Grant Grant titles. So, if I get him Pity Kingdom of... Will he get mad if it's too far away? No, he won't. So I own all of these. If I get in the Petty Kingdom of Meath... Yeah. Then, yeah. Should keep him out of your hair for a Should while. Should keep him out, and I'm losing pretty stress, because I'm generous, I think. Yeah. Okay, and people aren't mad now, because if you have too much complete control, people just get angry at your tyranny. Yeah. What's our court position? Foul smell. smell. 
My liege, a word, please. My Chancellor Ildonchand approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. He gestures to, uh, to a less populated spot in the room, and I follow him there. I'm concerned about the state of Luminique Castle. While holding a meeting in one of the rooms, we noticed a horrific smell. It must have come from one of the latrines on the floor below. I implore you, consider paying to fix the neglected parts of the building. I'll ensure it gets fixed. Don Chad gets happy at me. I spend money. My steward can handle it. Um, Eva Laguerre gets me some good stewardship and uh, haggles the price down or haggles it up. Or just plug the hole in the floor and I gain a smelly court. Mm. Nobody wants a smelly court, do they? No. I'll, I'll roll the bones on the haggling. He saves me the money. Sweet. If Stuart does oh. good. And I can hold court. One second, though. I really need to go to the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, bitch. You're good? Yeah, that's what it is. Alright. Oh, I'll just sit here and wait for Daniel's oh, chicken on bits and pieces. Oh. But, yeah. We've got the uh, Tenancy Tribunal in New Zealand who is very, very, like, on tenant side. Ugh. It's pretty... pretty bad. So I'm checking over more landlord stuff. It's just, you know, a, a sad thing. Yes, indeed, I needed that. Oh, that's all good. Okay. okay, time to hold court for the first time. Like my court. Oh, there's also like stuff I can adjust in my court. I've never really done much of it though. Mm -hmm. Like diplomatic or scholarly. Cost 500 uh, prestige. Yeah. Royalty to change? To change, yeah. Yep. And I can also up the fashion, the food, the lodgings, the servants. Mm -hmm. Right now they're like, eh, you should have a better court. I've never had like too much problems with my courts. Mm. Let's hold court. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased, and all faces turn towards me to mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners, lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Gesture for the first in line. On second thought, fuck that. No, I, I, I want this to happen. My brother-in-law, Earl Olav, takes a turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious liege, give me the honor of representing your royal majesty in affairs of honor. I will not let you down. I suppose these jobs have to be done by someone. Oh yeah. I have a bunch of extra stuff I can hire people for now too. Ooh. Because I'm a high king. So I could appoint him as my personal champion. Mm. Uh, could make him my master of the hunt. Earl Olav. I could make him my court gesture and make him mad. Or I could say fuck off and also make him a little less mad. So I'll just give him the personal champion one. Mm -hmm. The man who approaches my throne is clearly a commoner. My lord, he begins the speech, I represent the local community of Luminique. In the last few months our cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies. All have been dug up and left no trace. First we feared wild animals or obscure powers at work. But then your court physician, Fukata, mm. was caught red-handed hauling all the dead away for his experiments. Please put a stop to this blasphemy. Studying the human body is a sad necessity. 
Build the Farmland gives encourage gains encourage grave robbing mm. for ten years, which is bad for popular opinion. Fukata gains fifty intrigue and fifty learning lifestyle experience. Fifteen mm -hmm. percent of him getting novice physician, which gets my uh, my disease resistance up. Yeah. Guards arrest the grave robber. I can just arrest him. Then I imprison him. Um, and he's getting mad. And Earl Foreman gets safe cemeteries. Twenty five percent. Or just tell him to fuck off. He loses some some opinion. They get safe cemeteries. Fuck off with that. My cousin Maliki. Huh, my cousin and knight. Yeah, you're unlanded, buddy. So you're old. Very old. Yeah? Stands before me a hopeful expression on his face. My lord, I couldn't help but notice that in recent times the realm's finances have not been, in the, not been the healthiest. Of course, you might have been administering them egregiously, but perhaps you might find some use for some extra gold. I'm willing to buy a minor settlement off your hands in exchange for a generous sum of gold. Would that be acceptable? Very well, you can have the bet. So, he gets the barony, he gets... Oh! This is a title that has not been created. Mm -hmm. So I just create a title. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can offer a bit more. 51%. He pays me lots more money. 48%. Mm -hmm. He stands far as, by his last offer and makes you look like a fool. And I can spend the prestige, honestly. Mm -hmm. Makes it a castle holding. He gets to be the Baron. Or I don't need your gold. I'm going to try and get him the... Oh, he does, got, he does pay more. <laughs> He is no longer my bodyguard. I guess he's now a mayor or baron or something. Mm -hmm. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking amongst themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings is dropped away entirely, with the hum and bustle of normal courtly life taking its place. My business here is done. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? Is he albino? He's a fucking albino. And he has a giant wife. Look at her. Giant. She does. Isn't that the dude who made us our armor? Or is... I don't think so. So let, let's have a look at our, like, other positions. We've got things like Antiquarian. We don't really have much in the way of artifacts to guard right now. Mm -hmm. Court Tutor, which can improve your children's learning language schemes. Um, our children are currently not with us. I We've think. had one girl who we married off in yeah. Leinster. Food taster gives me court grandeur bonus and increases the uh, enemy hostile seem to chit or decreases it, rather, mm -hmm. based on aptitude. No one's very apt, though. Mm. No one's very apt at this. Master of the horse. This one gives you prestige. It's pretty useful. To bribe people with. <laughs> Let's see. Can I increase my knight effectiveness as well? So maybe I'll just give it to to the connect. Mm -hmm. I break bread with him. Master of the hunt. Court grandeur change increase. And aids when using the hunt activity. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just make that you. And Royal Architect, which helps buildings. Armina gets me more court grandeur and piety. Seneschal gets me control growth, which I will probably want. Oh, I could get Blastoise on that. She seems to be as good as anyone. Well, I'll get her in on that. Yeah, she's going to be me later. And then we've got things like um, Cupbearer... <laughs> Court, court Jester. Jester. Yep. No, we don't have anyone with Court Jester and Court Magician. No. Mm -hmm. These ones are definitely only worth doing if uh, you got someone good for them. And apparently I'm missing a bodyguard, so... Oh, another court event. And another event event. Exotic arms, along with these strange goods, the merchants bring tall tales from distant lands. Unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Welsh peddlers purport to have brought Bengali objects said to have come from the faraway court of the great ruler Maharaja Rampa Ramapala of the Pala Kingdom, no less. Gwyn Frewi, leading the, the leading trailer, grins trader grins darkly. This unique armor could be yours, for a special price, of course. Great high king. A likely yarn indeed, if only I had some way to verify the hawker's story. 
Fetch my coin purse. Lose 105, get this Bengali laminar armor. And gain 40 stress because I'm arrogant. Or I tell them to fuck off. Mm. I could probably use the armor, honestly. Cool. Um, now, where was I? Oh yeah, we're stopping because we also have a duchy to make. Yes. Oh, I have too many duchies again. Oh no, who could have guessed that that would happen? What's this court event? What is spawn? Why would you honor that doxy Blastoise with a position at my at court and not me? My wife, High Queen Wolf, Wolfled, is livid. Apparently, she'd been sitting that honor before her and no one else. Mm -hmm. I can tell her to fuck off, which makes her mad at me. Mm -hmm. I come close to forming a rivalry with her. Oh, you're right. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna focus on the air we have rather than the air we might, right? Yeah. Tell her to fuck off. Now, as for... Ooh, notable guest. Experienced fighter. Okay, cool. Um, as for these kingdoms... Who have I got around here? This guy likes me okay. Mm-hmm. This guy's a connect and therefore untrustworthy. Didn't I already give you, like, stuff? Why are you at zero like of me? I think he was at me. Actually, no, you are right. He was above it, but not by much. So why has gone down? Over here, it talks about the past with confidence. Constantly. Okay. Hmm. It's weird. And he owns Fomond. Okay, what about Duke Scalen? No, I did get Duke Scale on that. He doesn't own anything. Let's see if we can get him, um, let's say, Lanester? Mm -hmm. It's not that much, so... And I lose stress for that. Nice! Oh, he has left my... left my, uh, wait. Did he just die or something? Hmm. Weird. Uh, who's the best at this? Wow, this mayor is really good. Who do I have on the... Okay, you want that? You're bad at it. You're, you're both incompetent. I'm gonna make this mayor my chancellor and you guys can just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's see if I can seduce my wife again, huh? Oh yeah, I should actually equip my armor. Now I am using it. Gets me more prowess, gets me prestige, mm -hmm. and faith hostility advantage. Basically, faiths that are hostile to me, I think I do more damage to them or something like that? Hmm. Now let's see. I'm also apparently first in the line to, Ear to the Ear Earldom of Ossery. Because this guy's wife is not giving him any children. At all. No. Who are you? Okay, your parents don't exist, apparently. Well, anyway. That's our uh... Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna seduce. <laughs> wow, we can't even seem to seduce. We can. Cool. Ooh, 0% chance of success. Hmm. <laughs> 0% chance is not great. No! Let's just sway here to yeah, start with. Yeah, start with swaying. Swaying and then seducing. Wonder why she doesn't like us that much. Alright, we own Ireland now, baby! Ireland We're the exists. king of Ireland! And it exists, and it's this whole. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so... That's pretty cool. This guy looks pretty pretty sad and lonely there, doesn't he? He does! He looks kind of sad and lonely. I think his wife just changed looks while we were watching. She did. Oh. I mean, she might have just died as we watched. We've just seen yeah. his wife die. Oh yeah, we did. She was there one the, second. Uh, yep. She died while we were watching. It would really be, uh, you know, it would be... A shame if something happened. Oh. Oh, England just took over the entirety of Gwynedd. Did they vassalize him? Maybe. Uh, what I'm saying is that Dubarf, you know, um, it would it would be doing him a favor. Oh, granted, decreased. 
do him a favor to take him over because you know yep. so let's start this in motion now okay let's start this in motion now yeah get a foothold in england get our toes in the water as because yeah taking over wales is generally the next best okay so courtship oh, romance scheme power plus 50 percent oh hey look it's exactly what i need Holy shit, that's really good. But no, what yeah, we need right we now need is fuck our life. Yeah, I mean we don't need to, but we'd like to. Yeah. Let's see if that has changed anything. If we can now seduce her. Oh, familiar reflect reflection. I remember the day when my first child Ivy saw a beautiful boy was born, my serene son. How I wish she was still here. God, it shows I'm still maimed. Uh, there were so many more laughs to be had, so many more differences to settle, so many more memories to create. House Poké is lesser for not having you in it. Gotta catch them all. I was thrown to my <laughs> Damn, you picked the perfect slogan. Yep. If only you were to say it with me. I shall honor your memory with a bomb, so 50 represent. Family appreciates the gesture. I lose 18, 18 stress. Every close family member gains 30 opinion of me. Or I break down in sadness and gain 40 stress and gain 20 stress because I'm arrogant. Ooh. It's rolling bones. Oh no. With those closest to me gathered, I start the recital. Morning and rainy nights. My cruel mistress is random chance to deprive the world of such a beautiful dance. Alone, bereft, without that sweet man, we wander wondering where hurt began. That wasn't very good, was it? Ooh. Oh, I'm stressed now. But I think the family still liked it. I don't think they did. Oh. Yeah, uh, so what? anyway, let's see if I can seduce. I'm already, already swaying her. Yep. So hey, won't tell me what my chances are. Let's have a look at your daughter and see what she's doing. Uh, right now she's with her betrothed. She's not really with him. Oh. Okay. Sorry. What? I appear to have a uh, slip of her anyway. Seduced correctly. Yeah, um. Let's see. Yeah, so you, she's finally. Uh, he's finally old enough to give her yeah. kids? No, he's not. He's not married yet. Um, let us sway this king, because actually a little terrified of him. I guess I got other dudes closer to home I could be swaying. Let's sway these guys first. Yeah. Get them swayed. I want no shenanigans in my kingdom. Yes, we'll find out soon how well that uh, inner parent works. Yeah, I'm like 55 now and she is 21. It's not the greatest. So he's 15, so... 15, so soon enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, that's not the greatest. I really hope that shit doesn't go raw after this. Mm -hmm. And our control should be finalizing any second now. Do they get better when this happens? Do they improve? They improve, so like, yeah. look, we've got the, the cash coming in. No, I, I mean the stats. The stats of um, things. Rated. God damn. 3,600. How many dudes do I have? 2,500. I'm just gonna have to let this happen. Yep. Fucking annoying. They do be raiding for apparently seven months. Obsession. I got a glimpse of Aethelburr's Af tantalizing cleavage while I passed her in the hall this morning. Ever since then, I've been unable to stop thinking about her, and my lurid fantasies keep distracting me from work. Her life frame, the way her muscles flex under the skin, yeah, yada, 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 it's too much. I must find some relief from this infatuation, I'll never get anything done. Must know she feels the same way. So, I can sleep with her, and... If she'd been desiring me, yeah. I'll lose 18 stress because I'm rakish. I'll also lose 120 stress because I'm rakish and get closer to forming an intimate relationship with her. And she gains 10 opinion. If she rejects my advantages, I gain 60 stress because I'm rakish and arrogant. And she loses opinion. A little bit of fantasizing can't hurt. Well, that'll lose me a bit of stress. Yeah. Trip to the brothel. Uh, that just loses me 78 stress. That's not yeah. bad. Should not objectify her like this, it's wrong. Uh, which I think 
stops this, but also gets me 20 stress. The brothel one seems the best, right? Does seem useful. Doesn't even cost money. Doesn't even cost money. I was so, so horny that I uh, didn't... Oh. Okay, another daughter. We're up to Metapod. Yep. Okay, another daughter. Interesting. Good that it's not a son, honestly, because that could have became my ear and that could have fucked things up a bit. Yep. Ooh. No, have, no longer have an alliance with Don Chad. Because he's no longer a ruler? Oh. The fuck happened with you? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He's, he's no, like... Where did you where did you even fucking come from? Came from Leinster. So who's in charge of Leinster now? It's this guy and his oh. giant wife Should and his just, giant child. Does that also? Because isn't that where we had the matrilineal? Um, isn't that where Bulbasaur was? Yeah, all that matters is that we have a landed. Uh, we have like somebody to marry her. Yeah. Like her betrothed is yes unlanded. Yeah. So it's not great, but. Uh, yeah, he accepted the matrilineal we, valid marriage. We're fine. Yeah. I mean, right before then, we were like, oh, maybe we can get in on this. But now it doesn't matter because we're the fucking King of Ireland. Like, you know. Yeah. Man, those raiders are just. They're still there. Haven't even. They're still raiding. You can't call allies to help you with raiding. Fucking. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm being. Oh! That's not being raided. Yep, so it's time for the actual. Uh... She gets zero prestige for this because he's unfucking landed now. Yep. But whatever, just get me a fucking ear. You dipshit. Alright, they may be finally pissing off into the ocean. Alright, Connick's here. To pay me homage. As well, he should. Gets me money. Take a name. Yep, I'll accept my gifts. Uh, it looks like the rating is going up and down in length of time because it was five, like before it was um five months. Since hostilities will end in four months. Mm. So this fuck. Who are you, Iceland? Fucking Iceland. Oh, he knows I can't do anything all the way over there. Yep. So, on a boat. On a boat. Oh, well, soon we'll invade parts of... Oh! Ooh! Okay, he, he did now! Okay! Oh, it's gonna be my marshal! We have... Whoa! This guy is even better than his dad was! Sweet. Let's get him in there! Okay, cool. So, I have Master of the Horse positions that I might be able to give out now. Mm -hmm. Master of the Horse, anyone who hates me? Earl Tag McMurrick. Gilla. Duke Tag McMurrick. Earl McBulbasaur. Charmander. Olav. Gommel. Gilla Colum. Ugh. Wait, Olav, I think, was in there. You be my master of the horse. And master of the hunt. Um so this guy's fine. Murek. Oh sorry, this guy's fine. It's Tagd and Gillicolum. My food taster. Tagd Makarudi, which is not the one I want, it's a different Tagd. Fuck okay, it, clicking on the food taster. Eh, he's the only one who's any good at it. Yeah. Alright, we're no longer being raided. Renewed Jihad. The House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in its very heartlands. In response to his magnificence, Caliph Abdullah has uh, declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The core regions of the Dar al Islam must be retaken at all costs. The right, all righteous Muslim faithful should prepare to join the ranks of Mujahid, Mujah, sorry, Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. This could be the beginning of an unprecedented Muslim aggression. Hmm. Okay. Um. What's going on in Jerusalem? 
But, but where is Jerusalem? Is it like here? Uh, let's see. So is it in the Byzantine right now? Uh, I think it's actually low. Uh, Tripoli, Beirut. Um, zoom out again for a second. Okay. Where is it? I think it is in that. Oh, here? Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, isn't it? Oh no, Jerusalem's one below it. Ah, uh, Jerusalem. It's yeah. already in the Sheikdom! What's what's the problem? I do not know. The Fatimids already have it. Why the Jihad? Maybe that's only just happened since they did that. That would have been fast. Mania has grown smaller as well. Nah, it's still got all this. Yeah, but I'm sure it had like the... You see it? Caucasus? The... Look, Mania has two sections. Wasn't like that before? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. It had like, um, Dulio and stuff. Dulio? Dulo. Highly dubious. Okay, I can declare war on the King of England! Blastoise's claims the Lordship of Marionid. But we're not going to do that because the King is powerful and we are not! Yeah. Like, I think it said. Did it, was it similar? No, superior. Definitely superior. Aww. Uh, even with similar, you don't want to take that chance. You want to only declare war when it's there's inferior. Bulbasaur, give us some kids. I mean, we could marry off a big alliance, I guess. But honestly, I don't want to fight England this early on. England typically wins. If it do were we a fracture, to that'd be nice, but... Uh, do we want to ward our current kid for alliance? Not yet. Mm. Not yet. Um, but yeah. I'd rather take Dubar if at least mm. eat that as much as I can. It's still not, not slayed. Oh well. Um, how pissed off are these guys right now? Not really. Honestly, you you need swaying more. Soon enough, I'll have them be swayed enough that I'm happy. Oh, is that the, um, have we got our closest belly? Oh no. Not we have quite. not quite got that. It's about, you know... 75% done. Yeah, I couldn't see it for a moment there. She's pregnant again. Well. Well, okay. Are you just, like, lustful or something? No. She's ambitious and arrogant. You were both arrogant. Yeah. Uh, and zealous. And strong. Yeah, I guess that, uh, even though she doesn't like us, we're just, we're doing our duty. Uh, if we do get a prince, we might just have to disinherit him, because I think that, like, Caterpie's doing a little better, and also, yeah. any prince we get will be way too young to take over. So, I might yeah. just disinherit anyone that comes along. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. find it really funny the way the, the king kind of looks around. Sort of, yeah, he was okay. eyeing out different things, like from over there, he was sort yeah. of peeking over my yeah, way. This is like remarkably solid and unchanging. Normally, this like shifts a bunch. Oh. Newborn son. Cool. Uh, uh, so, Butterfree. He's getting Butterfreed soon. Yeah, I mean, let's just. Um, doesn't hear it. And unfortunately, that costs us some renown. Yeah, but we got it. But we got to do it because he's not. He's not going to fucking. Yep. Promising prospects, marriage. Marriage acceptance for yourself, marriage acceptance for close family and extended family. That's pretty good. But uh, I don't know. I think we'll be going to war first. Yeah. Task finished. So we want to. Wow. Shit just keeps happening, huh? Yep. Guess we're a pretty young kingdom. Oh, uh... Marshall and Precious Vassal! Little Squirtle gained pretty opinion of me. That works? Yeah. Currently the, uh, Earl of Ossery, yeah. And task finished. Alright. See it done. Now we can declare war on... not yet. We need... what do we need? Just more prestige? And we need for it to load in that it, that we did that. Uh, that we have a claim on there. I mean, we're not. I like these guys, are we? 
I think we're allied with them. No. We're only allied with like our own kingdom and the Kents. That's weird. Is it because there's not a port? You yeah. declare war on he people. He has a stronger than army than you. No, that's that's the king of England. Ah, not this guy. Not Prince Madog. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, I can create the Duchy of Meath. Uh, will that not give you more too many duchies again? It might, but it's still worth doing. <laughs> it gets me like shit tons of prestige, which is useful. Climate's one. Okay. Well, we'll just wait until we get enough money. I guess if we're not making war, we might as well. Yeah. Oh no, I just you died. died. Oh. Shit. High King Canopy of Ireland has found peace in Christ's embrace at 58 years of age. He died in his sleep. Known to be an exceptional strategist. He spent many of his days examining fields. Wait, did I die of old age or did I die in my sleep? Hold up. Okay. High Queen Blastoise ascends to the throne. Being both thrifty and frugal, the realm will surely prosper under her rule. So, died in my sleep. Hmm. I mean... Okay, so first things first, we choose a lifestyle. It's probably going to be stewardship. Yeah, she does seem better in stewardship than others. So, domain, duty, or wealth. Wealth is, like, just money. Domain is stewardship in general. And duty is agent, enemy agent and acceptance, stewardship plus one, courtier and guest opinion. I'm going to go for domain because our yeah. control is pretty low right now. That's what I was thinking, though. I don't see anything about it in the... Uh... I think stewardship does influence your control. Let's just go with stewardship. Um, directly influences taxation. Um, and increases my domain limit. Okay, well, yeah. I'm still going to take that. Yeah, like, I still think it's the correct choice. It just seems weird. Right now we've got Tax Woman. We've got Cutting Cornerstones, so increases buildings. Defensive Measures, Fort Levels, plus one garrison size, plus 20%. Yep. Unlocks the Purchase Truce interaction, allowing truces to be bought preemptively. Okay, mm. so... Can negotiate a... An alliance with Princess Metapod. Okay, sure. Can create the Duchy of Meath. Probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. Ask my head of faith for gold. Let's get some counselors on here. Okay, you're really good at this. You're really good at this. So the thing is, when you're hiking, you can like just assign dudes who are really good at shit. Um, oh shit, man. Yeah. They're actually really good at this. So let's get another dude to be. The Diplomat. Um, am I looking for the blue number? Yeah, the blue one. Uh, I guess 18? it's... 18? Yeah. Dude. Well, this guy's... I, I oh, right. put him as that. Uh, but the person below him is also... Yeah, Yeah, he's just a mayor, though. And Earl Olav, I think, is going to be my spy master. Yeah, no one's better. Now we only have a couple of dudes who like me really good because they're like... This guy's my uncle. This dude just really likes me. Um, I'm in line to hear tile titles. Um, just things that we already own. I can hold court. Yeah. Let's hold court. Don't have a lot of grandeur yet. Oh, why is our um, thingy not behind our... Good question. I'll check it later. Gesture for the line to approach. Seems to have been moved over there. Man who approaches my throne is clearly common. My lady. Okay, it's Luminique guy again. Yep. More bodies. My steward, Earl Targd, approaches the throne of a middle aged man and tells My Legion High Queen, he spouts. My brother, Don Chad Card, Arphage, seeks the honor of serving in a retinue of knights. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. Mm -hmm. Seems like a cheap yeah. knighting opportunity. Yeah. Don Chad smiles weakly. Though I am only a middling swordsman, I hope to learn much in your service. Sweet, I just get uh I just get a free knight if I yeah. do that. Can we take on him? I might need something in return. So he would make that would make Earl Tug mad a little, but I get a hook on him. 
Yeah, it's probably good. And then I get Don Chad to be a knight. Or the graveyards are full of middling swordsmen. Oh, I'm compassionate. I would get mad because I'm compassionate. Yeah, no, I, I'd say probably go for the hook. So go for the hook. Yeah. Because then I'll show you what you can use hooks for yeah. on our uh, vassals. My uncle Il Charmander yeah. who really likes me. Maybe he was the dude I learned from? Maybe. Takes a turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious niece, give me the honor of protecting you from your enemies and serving at your side. A position I am far better suited to than David. I'll, I will not let you down. That's just a bodyguard position. I will give him that yeah. position. Ooh, it will cost me 200 prestige for some reason. Okay. Um, wait, what? I'm sorry. I will lay with Earl Charmander. That doesn't what? seem right to me. Where? I don't think that's right. <laughs> Apparently, um, I do have sex with my uncle if I choose this option. Uh, distressing. Uh, we have need of your t other talents. Uh, you replace David with Earl Charmander as your royal architect. It will cost you. Revoke cost for architect. Uh oh. Oopsie doopsie. Game is glitch. Uh, so Earl Charmander will be happy. I can turn him into my jester. <laughs> He already really likes me, so this probably won't cost me that much. Although it will gain me stress because I'm compassionate. Yeah. Okay, we'll go. We'll go. We'll make him the architect, huh? Yep. Because I don't want to lose that uh, prestige. Oh, and also the the incest. <laughs> I'm like, why is that either? It cost you revoke cost. Yep. All right, my business here is done. We should probably take a little look see at our traits. We're compassionate. We're temperate. And we're chaste. Oh, Ugh, the chaste is bad. Yeah. Um, fertility minus 25%. Seduce skin power minus 50%. That sucks. That is problematic. And I have a jeweled necros, which does increase attraction opinion. Okay, because, yeah, we need our husband to knock us off. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. If we're to have a chance of... <laughs> right now my ear is Princess Metapod, who I just made an alliance with, and is a bebe. Yep. She is very bad. I can change his contract. So this is what hooks let you do. You can change his contract. His contract's actually low taxes and levies because I think we vassalized him. Yeah. And gave him a good deal as it was. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll just bump those taxis up to normal and we'll give him a hook. So we cash in the hook for more taxes. Mm-hmm. Thing of thing means taxes. It in. <laughs> All right. Do we want to try and seduce our husband? All right, I get that. And you're right. I should probably try seducing him if I am to succeed here. 95% chance. It's not bad. Oh, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm stressed because I'm chased. We do need... I've already gone up a... And unfortunately, the stress level decreases your... Fertility as well. Yeah. Jesus, woman. Yeah, it's not great. Um, so, do we have anything we can do to decrease? Oh, we can't host a feast yet. What does the so, pilgrimage do? That gives me more ped, uh, piety. piety. Mm. So, we can do that. And you can also have funky things happen along the way. Oh. Alright, my baby sister is allied with me. Mental break, dark thoughts. Alright, so, mental break. I can become flagellant, but that will wound me. I could donate to charity, um, or I could just be stressed. Uh, I'm going to get the trait in Provident, which gives lower monthly income, better diplomacy, better stress loss. I think this is probably yeah. the way to do it, unfortunately. As much as I would love to not be stressed, and next time we get a chance, I think I'm going to hold a feast, because that can also decrease stress, especially since I'm generous. Yep. Wait, am I generous? No, I'm just compassionate. Birds of prey. Hunting seems to bring out the worst in my inner circle of courtiers. My master of the horse, Earl Olav of Ormond, and my master of the hunt, Duke Targ the Connacht, have recently returned from hunting together and are now engaged in a raging argument in the middle of my throne room. The, my bird drew it out and it must have made the kill, yells Olav. The bir my bird had the corpse. There is no question that the glory is mine, shouts Targ. They seem to be furious about whose falcon was responsible for a kill. 
So, I could give uh, Olav the victory, and uh, he gets happier at me. And Tog gets mad, and I get some good stuff motivated Master of the Horse. Yeah. If he motivated... Oh, and he also gets pissed at Tog. Um... If I give it to Tog, Olav will be more likely to create a rivalry with me. Hmm. And, yeah... Why don't you both share 59%, gain 100 diplomacy lifestyle experience. Uh, they become friends. 59% chance. 40% they get mad. And they become rivals. Let's try it. Yep. I got the XP. Nice. Woo! As in diplomacy, so in, unless I go into diplomacy, it's... Oh, cool. Benign leash. I'm just going to get some money off of this guy. No, I'm going to give... Oh, he gave me, um, what's it? He gave me prestige instead. Hmm. Wonder what ever happened to that, uh, armor set. I'm wearing it. No, no, the other armor set. Did we ask someone to make us armor? Yeah, the, the, the guy who was like, Give me inspiration, my king! Fuck, and you're right. I don't know what happened with that guy. Guild of Stonemasons has established it in the Earl and the Fomid. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service might help, could help the region flourish. Strike a deal. I get a great deal, 36% chance. Get some good building costs and times reduced. A fair deal. I'm offered... I get 55... Lose 55 gold, gain 75. And it gets that. Or I lose 105. Get Earl Targed to do it. Gives me slightly better option... Better chances. Or I get peasant labor, which makes it hard to build Ooh, stuff. For don't... 20 years. I'm going to get a little targed to try it. Yeah. Alright. And... Oh yeah, I could scarce have negotiated this myself. Yep, yeah, that's why you've got experts for it. Yes. Well-bred experts. Mm-hmm. And like I said, like when you get to be the High King, you get you oh, get dudes with fight. This bit apart. Look at her; she's so angry. There's no end to the opinions and wants of my half sister, Princess Metapod. Half the time, she's trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. Formidable or aggravating, it's a fine line to walk. She is going bossy. <laughs> oh, a little bit. But yeah, <laughs> we're temperate and chaste. We're not. We're not generous, so. Yeah. Alas, that shit doesn't gain doesn't lose me extra stress. Mm -hmm. mm. Compassionate can be a real fucking downfall. Alright. Be made aware that High King Flail Flailchid Flail is uh, very close to his brother Kusin Mafar. Mafair, uh gaining his favor may help me catch his attention. Okay, um you are unlanded. So you probably won't be able to do much with that hook. In fact, the last guy we did this for died before yep. the hook could be cashed in. So it's that, or I could give him money. But no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking yep. give him the hook. Yep. Yep. He's happy about it. Yep. And we've got lots of building, um, building perks at the moment. We do, we just don't really have much of the money. Oh, strange noise. I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born on this day, 25 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my husband, Fail Chad, or any of my friends today. I trudged along to my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and hushed whispers from the hallway. What could it be this honor at this hour? Happy birthday! Oh, yeah. Aww. What a surprise, all my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. There is even an entire table laden with saffron cakes, my Ooh, favorite. Fancy. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Fail Chad went to the trouble of arranging <laughs> the six and six. Fail Chad. Fail Chad. Yep. I had not a clue. Such a thoughtful surprise has been planned at all. My friend Nafad, Nafnad, sorry, approaches me, struggling to carry free beautifully wrapped packages. If at the trickster, she says, I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours. Which shall it be? I'll take the biggest one. Take the medium-sized one. And good things come in small packages. 
Ooh. I'd say small, just because okay. that is most likely to be gold. I now have an Irish brooch. Okay, actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, these tend to give you artifacts. Friend scheme power is uh, increased. And also, I get more prestige. Nice. Wait, hang on, was that the secondary armor in the, um... Hmm? So... It's a trinket. Uh, I was looking in the... Cause this is the no, one we have. Just that. Okay. We do not have a lot of artifacts. Yeah. Weirdly, despite having, like, smashed and bashed a bunch of Ireland, we didn't actually gain much artifacts out of it. Hmm. It's fine. So, um... Still not pregnant? Oh. Bodyguard. Must have died. Bodyguard. Must have died. I get lady in waitings? Looks like. Stress loss? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm paying for that. Oh, I, only can, I can only get one, though. Nafnad. Yep. Um, boot taster. Hi, Almana. Uh, Seneschal. We probably want one. Man, all these people with only a single name, jeez. Yeah, do we have anyone who's good at these yet? Actually, we do. This old dude can be my court uh, musician. But yeah, I don't see... Um... His bodyguard? Yeah. Cool. Don Chad MacMuildak. Um, so do I still have claim here? Let's see. Apparently not. Apparently that was my dad's claim. Yeah. yeah, I died a little earlier than I fought back then, but no one's come to say, hey, fuck Ooh. that guy. She doesn't shouldn't be on the throne. Which is especially odd, because she's a queen. Yeah. Okay. I'm attending a dance, not simply because I'm the lady of the castle, but because I want to see High King Failchad there. He looks resplendent, and when we finally have a moment to ourselves, I offer my suggestion. Join me in the circle. All right. Possible outcomes. Smoldering chemistry? Smoldering chemistry. Yeah, if we succeed. Have you seen how these people dance? <laughs> well, let's have a look at his um, stuff, because that will tell us what... Yeah, so he's temperate. We're both temperate. Fickle, which is not great. Fickle and vengeful. Mm. And an insightful thinker. Um, hmm. I don't know. What do you reckon? Probably not this one because it's going to gain me 80 stress, but yeah. uh, other than that. I'd say probably joining in the circle seems the most Let's see, likely let's see. One. I Ooh. thought I was uh, set once he agreed to dance, but even though I'd hand myself densely, he soon made excuses and left me standing among the other dancers. Aww. I'm not good at these seduction uh, attempts. I'm going to blame it on us both being ace. Oh boy, superior. I've gained a stress level. Oh, my friend died. Ah, oh, Merchad. At least it wasn't your lady in waiting. Yeah. It looks like your stress level's going down. Noble guest, it's right. Stress level is currently at 110. I mean, let's see. How much do we need for a big feast? Most feast. We need 50 more. I think we'll do a feast before we do anything else. Oh, wait, no, we just did the Fabricate claim. Yeah. Can't really afford to. Alas. Accused of claim fabrication. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we still fortunately have tons of time to get kids here. Yeah. Okay. You have successfully increased the control. Continue to increase the control. All down to green. I'm just kind of desperate to get summer whales before it's all eaten up by England, but the ship may have sailed. Yeah. Oh. Cousin's taken prisoner. Who's your parents? Uh, guys from the Welsh side. Oh. oh. <laughs> have fun with that, kiddo. Have fun with that. <laughs> guy doesn't like me that much, but he's fine. Nice. A beloved husband. Servants have all been sent away. Okay, cool. Awesome. Seducing him now. Okay. Alright, he's my lover now. Sweet. Despite my shenanigans. <laughs> we tried. Pregnancy! And pregnancy immediately. Go. Good stuff. Despite all the fertility downsides. So yeah. what are the chances of you dying in death? 
I mean, people die when they're killed, Silver. <laughs> Dying in childbirth. I don't know. I haven't ever had it happen, but I oh. think it can. Yeah. Let's see. Um, wait. Yeah, okay. So not him because he's like the Marshall guy. Yeah. Another mayor. I think our best bet might be Earl Charmander, my uncle. Yeah. Who wanted to seduce you for some reason. Yeah, for some reason. Uh, it'll help you to know that he is currently wounded. <laughs> How did you get wounded? Robert Caterpie died in his sleep. Jesus. Uh, it doesn't mention how he got wounded. I journeyed to Vaticino on a pilgrimage, mostly. Maybe he got wounded in the pilgrimage. Yeah. So can we investigate that at all, or is that just a thing that's happened? We, it's proactive, the investigation. So you either block it or you don't. Um, although, okay, that's not entirely true. If you go to find secrets in the right place... They can turn it up and go, this guy was responsible for killing your dad. <laughs> Pillar of the community, I have noticed that my archbishop has been nervously pacing the room. Don Chad, what's the matter? It is Foucault, my lord, my liege. He has been scaling to, uh, scale, taken to scaling a pillar in the palace courtyard this, in the morning and remaining there all day in quiet contemplation. He refuses food and drink and says relatively little when questioned. Ascetic practices like these aren't unheard of, but it's bothering some of your court. And they're asking me to do something about it. Send him to Pope Stephanus, see what he makes of it. For Carter leaves, and uh, is he currently like doing anything for me? He is my seneschal and my physician. Okay, we were going to keep him. So the Pope would gain opinion. Insulism's fervor would go up. Mm -hmm. um, for Carter's piety is inspiring. I shall imitate his example. Practicing asceticism. Mm. Minor penalty to health, increase in piety. Probably not safe. If he wants to live in isolation, he can do so elsewhere. Get some banished. Or just ignore him. Mm. Don Chad gets a little upset. Spend a little bit of... It's fine, it's fine. We, we, we'll ignore the fucker. Ignore the fucker. Sometimes you gotta say, just ignore that I guy. do like the fact that that, uh, trait, that uh, event is called Pillar of the Community. Yes. <laughs> expected it to be something a bit different. Yep. Something to do with my stewardship, but no. Yep. That's yeah, pretty good stewardship, though. 16 stewardship. Her rubbing her belly. I think it is. Yeah, she's just gently rubbing her belly by the look of it. That's a cute little trait. Oh, jeez. Is, is, is this currently ruled by a child? It is currently ruled by a child. Ooh. High Queen Blastos, my dear sweetheart. God damn you, Earl Charmander. Shaman. Homage mortified. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Earl Charmander, who soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve me as a vassal of the kingdom. As Earl Charmander stands, he stumbles awkwardly. Okay, he just fucking asked up. Yep. What a shambles. I can't do that because I'm compassionate. Yeah. So instead, we'll uh, get ourselves some renown. Okay, we need to replace my steward. Uh, the Duke of Lanster seems to be available. He seems quite good at this. Yeah. Let's go get him in there. Okay, no longer anyone seeking a position on my council. Because they will go yeah. now. There's a fucking baby on the throne here. And my cousin. my cousin is the heir. He's also my cousin. Oh. New daughter. Oh, well. Well, we've kind of got a matrilineal thing going now. It's not as easy. It's just not as easy. Yep. But yes, you're right. It's not as bad, especially because we're a queen now. Yep. Second in line to inherit Ulster. Who's in charge of that? Princess Metapod. Where and is as the usual, Ulster? Ulster's up here. Oh, right. Thank you. Second in line for Ennis, because that's my horrible... He has not had any children with his real wife. Is he scarred now? Um... No, no. he's just wounded. His wife, his wife doesn't like him. I wouldn't either. He's a creep. Yeah? I wish I could have made fun of him earlier without going insane. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, I might just decide to, um... Call the feast. Call that feast now, anyway. Yep. I'll lose some stress. 
Yeah. And my vassals will get happy with me. Um, yeah, and there's chances to chances to further reduce the stress. Yeah. Due to events that happen during the feast. Yeah. I should have read that first one. Sorry. <gasps> my lady, the wine we crapped over the next barrel. It has gone bad. It has all gone bad. The feast is still raging without food, without drink. The mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel place. Okay, I guess uh, I guess uh, just spend some prestige and get everyone to pass the hat around. Yeah. What has started as an ordinary feast has been an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Earl Olav. We spoke all evening about a manner of subjects, and as things would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with him. Alright, he's happy. I'm close to gaining a friendship with him. Cool. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> please, do, please do go on. I listen inherent, uh, intently to Mayor Ayrkir as he carefully reveals all manner of things. Distracted by trying to get one last drop from his tankard, he is oblivious to how carefully I'm paying attention. Once he realizes, he starts getting up. I'm only rambling. It's not true anyways, all of it. I just learned his deviant secret. Ooh, okay. that's a good hook, isn't it? That is, but where's this fucking mayor live? I should have clicked on him. Can't we see it in the, our history? Um, I don't think so. Let's see. Nah. Damn. Not eventful enough. Let's see. Well, we just check all the cities. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, there's the mayors. They're down there. That's a bishop dumb. That's the one? No. Should be able to blackmail whoever that was. Oh well, I think since he's not my direct vassal, I can't make much use of it anyway. Yeah. Well, I guess having done fighting for the last of my meager table scraps gives me great relief to watch them finally leave with loose clothing and growing bellies. I have my husband failed Chad to thank for much of his success, but I feel nothing but gratitude as he sees the last few gifts off. Cool. Gain some fame. Yeah, feasts can be really useful, especially if you're generous. If you're generous, that just, like, destroys stress. all your stress. Because you're like, you have money, everyone! I'm a cool guy! Yeah, man, I'm lucky. This this was sort of quite a young and, like, female ear. Yeah. And no one has plotted against her. Possibly because of our really creepy uncle. <laughs> just going out of murdering anyone. It's just like, everyone, we all love the queen. Uh, the queen. Queen Caterpie. Sorry, Blastoise. Well, out on a leisurely stroll, the cry of a particular merchant stands out from the regular hustle and bustle of the street. Greetings, my lady. I have an exquisite assortment of wares if my lady has the coin. As I peer the myriad goods in the stall, I can hear Duke Laguerre um, some lanes to murmur the etchings on that piece. Must be real. Quite valuable, too. He glances at me with a triumphant smile. That one should be a steal, so... 35% chance I get 100 stewardship lifestyle. 42% I lose 15 gold, get 50 stewardship lifestyle. 21% I lose 55 gold. I believe the piece will be... The, this piece will be the more lucrative choice. 55% I do that thing. Okay, so it just basically takes that 35% and bumps it into the... And puts a little bit into the losing 30 instead of 55 I trust your expertise. Forty-four percent. Strike a real bargain. Get one hundred percent. I get one hundred stewardship life style experience. Forty-four. I'm decent. Lose fifteen. Get fifty. Twelve percent. So this is like this one, but like much better, honestly. Yeah. Okay. And I get received. I just got a number. No. Huh. I also got another one of these. What's that do? Stress gain, stress gain minus 2%. Nice. That's useful. So what do we got? Golden obligations. You can demand payment for hooks. Which is uh -huh. useful. Organized master roles. That's better levy reinforcement. Professional workforce. You still haven't built much. Meritocracy. You can use claim thrown scheme against your liege. Well, you don't need that. Um, honestly, I'll just take the levy one. Yeah, so I was about to say, is that useful for us? And I can ask for money again, which I will, because I need to pay one of your bishops soon. Here comes the tax refund, is literally what it said. 
Good. Aww. Good. Husband inspires recruitment. Good nice. stuff. That'll be yeah. useful. In the coming war, you better not fucking get over. God damn it. I'm being raided. And gone. My grandeur is decreased. I don't care about the grandeur so much, though. Still being raided over here. Yeah, they're just fucking raiding the shit out of me. Yep. There's nothing I can really do. I only have 2,700 dudes. How are they getting Apple some? Apple Vassal. Earl Cormac McMure deck. Um. Uh, no. Uh, how about I just sway you instead? How come they can bring up so much more for, uh, the I weekend? Don't know, man. Fucking island, you piece of shit. The Vikings, I tell you. The Vikings. This Give is probably them. half the reason I'm losing my control so badly. Speaking of which, here's more control. Uh, let's just pop it back right here, because that seems to be the worst one. And you can't send them against those guys without, you know, horrible... Yeah. Well, they're going somewhere else. They're going like... off to the Isles, it's not our problem no more. Wow, this is like a really solid and stable... It's like the stablest geopolitical situations I've ever... Okay, two things just happened in once. Uh, I'm going to accept the invitation to his feast. Mm. And I got another daughter. Okay, so... so Kakuna. Kakuna. Even sounds kind of Irish. <laughs> a warm welcome. Every guest is gathered in the Great Hall, and our gracious host, Earl Cormac... Has welcomed us to the feast. So we're down in the um in the in Desmond. As one plate of food is replaced with the next, my acquaintance Countess Orlaif goes on and on about trade routes. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I am not boring you, my lady? No, do please go on. Gained had an interesting conversation. Ten years. Why don't we talk more about you? Lose forty one stress because I'm compassionate. Ooh. This is the stuff I'm talking about. Yeah. Opportunities. If your character is personable, they can lose they can lose shit tons of stress during these. Hmm. Uh, so this is less like useful, but good, good for yeah personal. Like connection. I would have liked the diplomacy, but like that fucking bossed me up. Uh, what started as an ordinary feast is become okay. Countess Olaf again spoke all evening about all manner of subjects and things would have it seemed to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with her. Oh. Okay, she's my my friend now. Aww. Which uh, is pretty useless to us because she's just a countess, but that's... I wonder if she can be your main waiting. Feast the witness. You're right, actually. That might be the case. But I don't think so. I don't know if she's in my court, really. Yeah. And I stumble outside to relieve myself. I hear shouting around the corner. As I turn around, I see my acquaintance, Daigre. The bishop, gee. The bishop of El Cormac. Sneer as he sinks a blade into the face of the coward Gabran. Who is dead now, the son of El Cormac. And he is... The Bishop of Ilkoak! Whatever sound I made must have been enough for Dagger. He turns towards me, surprised, and says, What have you done? No immediate effects. Everyone will know of your crime. You expose his murder secret. My silence has a price. Get the money. Uh... We can get the money. Yeah, would that give us a hook? No, I, that might give us a hook in the future, but he's just some fucking... He's not even my bishop. He's someone else's bishop. Mm. I'm gonna get the money. What a feast! I will remember the days I spent in Il Cormac's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of Mirman and wine and once again resume my duties as Lady of the Realm. Losing more stress. Yep. And he gains a penny to me, which is what I fucking wanted. Yep. So that's great. Sweet. Please don't head back here. Um, what's that time at? 25 past? Ugh. So we may want to hold it off here. Yep. Uh, but that was a pretty well done session. We lost another ruler, but, you know, the ear turned out to be nowhere near. I thought it was going to be scrambling hard. Yep. I thought it was going to be putting down faction after faction. But no, everyone liked my previous ruler, and they all seemed to like Queen Blastoise, so... Yeah, she's really seeming to pull it out of her She's off. pulling it out. Yeah. Um, I guess because of all the weird, like, marriages I did into Ireland yep. really helped. Yeah. So, okay, we'll exit the game there, exit to desktop, and we'll see you guys again on Tuesday. Bye! Bye!